All right, guys. Let's try this old red label. Let's bring it to life. Oh, don't want air, but oh well. We'll see how she does. We'll let you know. What's up, guys? Tell me, my old baits. Excuse me, mess. I've been cutting grass. It's hot. I am sure I'm ready for something. Cold weather or something. All right, as I've been saying, I am out of my normal Calhouns. Oh, my God, my head is messed up. <laughs> uh, so we are trying the red label by Dead On. Um, nothing against any other plastic company, but I had just found that I liked Calhoun better. That was just me. Uh, and then some issues with the distributor they had had before. Long story short, so anyway, I'm changing up. So, I'm going to shoot some uh, finesse six and a quarter inch trick type worms or whatever. Nothing special. It's going to be green pumpkin orange. Uh, guy I fish with a time or two and I work with is like, I can never find green pumpkin orange and a finesse worm. I'm like, well, yeah, you can. You know people that make baits. So, we're going to do that. And if I can find my other crawl, which I probably can't, but I'll look and see as we get going here. If not, I'll just shoot these worms to start with. First impressions, of course, everything with dead on for me has been uh, customer service. Customer service is great with them. It has been uh, close, not quite there. Um, customer service is always on, I mean, just top notch. You know what I mean? Um, you ready just a little bit more. We're gonna add some orange flake to that. I've already put green pumpkin in there. I vacuum chamber before I start. I just seem to get better results. You can do it however you want, but that's the way I do it. Um, everybody's different. Now, if I'm doing remelts, I will vacuum, of course, after, but anyway. So I've already vacuum chambered it, done everything just like I do. The first thing I notice is smell. It is a little bit stronger smell. A little fan behind me blowing this way into an exhaust fan going out the window. Now, this is the salt because I had heard that it runs a little bit firmer and that's fine with me. Let me give it one more nuking because I do not know it just dropped down to like 340. So I want to make sure I get it there. Uh, I mixed five gallon bucket with, you know, of course a paint mixer or whatever. And um, that's how I mix my normal stuff or my Calhouns that I had. Um, I've used dead on sinking formula before uh, it's great for certain baits but you know I like them floating a little more or a little more uh, what's the word I'm looking for where they just sort of fall slowly um, so if I don't hate it never have um, I've used bait plastics 242 and uh, their softer version as well liked it except for uh before now i don't know about now i haven't shot it in a while i have a very little bit left of it uh it didn't clear it didn't clear my more clear colored baits or more translucent baits they were clearing sort of cloudy clearing sort of cloudy that makes no damn sense when they would cure they would get cloudy on me and uh I had heard back in the day that was just a problem they had. No big deal. Um, sorry, let me grab some plate, guys. Some more plate. Some black. Green pumpkin orange, that's what we're making. And um, so anyway, I decided to give this a try. I don't know, not. It is what it is. So, so let's try it and let's see what we got. Um, like I said, first thing I do notice is the smell. It is a little stronger. Um, no big deal. You get a plastic smell anyway from all of it. 
Oh, uh, that's a little stout, but you're making baits. So we're gonna add some uh, small black. I don't go as much small black. This is two cups, so I'm gonna do one level scoop of small black. The small flake seems to go a lot further for me, so I don't put as much of it. Now this bigger flake, I will be using two whole scoops, two whole level scoops for my traditional green pumpkin. And of course, I told you we're making green pumpkin orange, so trivia question, what color are we using there? <laughs> we're gonna be using some orange. Let me mix this black in, make sure I like how much I've got. Because I have just under two cups. Again, if I say two cups or one cup, I'm usually uh, a little bit more big. I'm usually um, just under that because when I vacuum chamber, if you vacuum chamber your stuff, you'll notice that it likes to uh, rise up and sometimes overflow. So I usually go just under that. Got that ready. We have our green pumpkin and orange we're gonna make. So we're gonna add some black. This will be blocked off because these three did not fit in my hole, I'm sorry, but way a world. I'm gonna go, the zoom color has a ton of orange in it, small orange. So I'm gonna go two heaping scoops and this is a quarter, so pretty good size scoop. We're gonna put our lid on, I don't want another butter bomb. And see where that gets us. Me and him had talked, we looked at some the other day, but they were in a crawl. And he's like, yeah, it's a little bit much flake. I'd like to have a little bit less. So let's see how we're looking. We don't want to be exact copies of that color, but oh yeah, I like it already. I hope the lighting, I'm here at night again, y'all, because it's so dark, but that is a little green pumpkin orange there, baby. Great color for crawls. We throw that color quite a bit. And then uh, green pumpkin blue. And uh, traditional green pumpkin. And he wants this in a finesse worm, so we're gonna give it to him. We're gonna add some uh, screw extenders. These things do suck down a little bit. I have to alternate how the molds are to get these screw extenders to fit. They wouldn't fit if it was all side by side. So, let's shoot. I don't know. I don't even think I can get all of them with one injector. I don't have the other one cleaned out. So, this may just be a shot of two right here. Ooh. Boy. That went pretty, pretty quick and easy. Like, too quick and easy. Don't do that. Get off there. Quick and easy, I almost felt like water. I hope that I filled up or I mixed good enough. I'm sure I did. I use a uh, a paint mixer, you know, on a little battery operated drill or whatever. I don't think that one filled. Skirt, I ain't gonna mess with it. We're gonna top these off just to make sure. I do not know why this feels so different, but it does. I almost feel more watery if that makes any sense. I'm gonna fill this up, it don't matter. We'll remelt it if they didn't feel. I can tell they didn't already, but I run out of plastic. It happens. So really it doesn't matter, but that's our green pumpkin orange. And flake changes your color a little bit, so I got like a thick green pumpkin, but that orange will make it look a little brownish, I guess you'd say. Oh, put my stuff back up. I've got such a mess in here, I've got it cleaned up in here. So, first thing is the feel is different. Um, I did go with the salt because just from what I read on Facebook or uh, you know, other social medias was that it runs a little firmer. So um, with Calhoun's, I did like to mix medium and soft to get the uh, 
the firmness I wanted. So I'll probably wind up doing this with this as well, but I just want to see how the soft measured up or felt compared to what I'm used to dealing with, which is the, the plastic I've always had. So again, don't think that, and, I, and I'm not saying that Calhoun's was better than any other brand. Don't get all that twisted. It's just the one that I like, that I prefer. Uh, I thought it was very user friendly. I thought it was great for overheating. Uh, held up to that very well, and I thought it suspended flake really well. So, and it just fit for the types of baits that I make. I also open pour, you know, the swim baits and all that. I'll never do it because you'll never be, you know, your Chris Joneses and all that, but. You will like a thinner plastic for that, but I didn't base my plastic off of that. I based it off of the baits that I use and that we sell a lot. Well, not a lot, but you know, that we sell. So, I have no clue. It feels like it's gonna be really thin. So I may have to go back and get a bucket of medium. Oh, there's our green pumpkin orange. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, let's just, I love it, God. The real test for me is going to be fishing. So, I mean, I can sit here and pour them and tell you what it feels like. But for me, I love on the Calhouns now. I did get uh, durability without sacrificing action, if that makes any sense. I could go with more of a medium. I do two thirds medium, one third salt. Uh, this is the straight salt, and to be honest with you, I like the feel of it. I didn't expect it to be much difference. I'm just more worried about the durability. I think the action will be fine. It feels nice and soft. Nice and soft. So, I don't know. If I like it yet or not, we'll have to fish with some of these baits to see. These are the first ones I poured. I just mixed the bucket. And we'll see how it goes. I mean, it can't be bad. You know what I'm saying? I just, I really hate changing because it's something that I knew, something that I was comfortable with. You know, so, sort of heartbreaking, but sort of not. Everything changes, life changes, you gotta move forward. So, that is what I'm doing. This is the one I ran out of plastic. You ever feel like you ran out of plastic? Your base will look like that. They will not fill in. I think I got one worm out of it. If it filled all the way. Probably did. I'm not going to trust it. If that was mine, yes. You know what I do with that? That's going to right back in because it's still warm. It should melt down sort of quick. You should cut them things up into smaller pieces, but uh, I, I do things my way. It is what it is. I just chuck them in there. Reheat for a little bit. Stir it a little bit. Reheat a little more. Instead of just nuking it, making it go crazy. So, I couldn't remember, but I thought I could only get two whole runs out of one injector, and that's what I got. So, uh, this is the uh, Bait Junkies 5002, six and a quarter inch, whatever you want to call it, finesse or trick worm or whatever. Favorite worm. Love that mold. Wish I had uh, six more of them. I think I got four, but uh, clapping wise, I usually show about three. So, don't forget, if you've got a bait that you like or it sells a lot, don't just get one one mold. Get a few of them in the long run, it'll help you out. It's a lot quicker. I shoot a pack at a time instead of one, wait, redo everything, wait. But so far, the feel feels great. It is soft. I really thought it was going to be firmer than that. Um, We'll let them cure and I'll update you. So far, feels good. Shot good. Feels a little a little thinner in the cup than uh, but of course I shoot a different different durometer in the Calhouns, but uh I think it's gonna work out. 
I think I may have to get some medium and maybe mix a little bit or just put some hardener in here just to get it just a little bit firmer but and we'll see how it plays action wise if I lose anything or gain anything but there was not much to that video but just wanted to share what I'm going through with changing plastics and there you go so got any questions holler at me let me know uh, getting close to the fall we got some cool weather coming thank god because i'm pouring sweat right now just in here making bait so um hope everybody has a great weekend it is friday Ooh. and we're getting close to the fall deer season duck season most importantly for me louisiana bam i love that place that state um appreciate y'all being here appreciate you watching We'll let you know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for being here. Let's go kiss some fish. Hey guys, forgot to add, I'm gonna put a little clip in here of a lady friend of mine just learning how to fish and uh, she caught her first one on an artificial. So uh, it was great, she was excited. It's on the 2.4 inch um, little stinger that I make that I love. Uh, on the little light where we have white bass, the lighting isn't great, it's not great quality, but uh, we're going to get the lighting better and do everything else we can to try and bring you some fishing content. So I hope you enjoy this little clip. I enjoy being out there and seeing her excitement. Thanks. Oh, I got it. Whip him up in here. <laughs> Yay! A little white man. Yeah. You get in front of the camera? She just kept that white bag. Down. Want to turn around? On that big old fin. Point four inch stinger. Ow. Got some gill plates too. All right, come here, buddy. How did you get it that way? <laughs> That's our white bass, chartreuse head, JKH jigs.